Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So, Google has recently announced on the 6th of May that they are now streamlining the process of setting up two-step verification, also known as 2SV, for user accounts, which means that uh, you can now enable two-step verification without adding a phone number. So if you are like me and you are tied into the Google ecosystem, you may know that previously this was not the case and Google required you to provide your phone number before you could set up two-step verification. So what it means now is if you head to your Google account and you are wanting to set up two-step verification, maybe you are setting up a new account as an example, uh, you can now skip the phone number if you want to use one of the other methods according to this recent announcement, as mentioned, that Google announced um, on the 6th of May. And this is where you can set up two-step verification in case you are unaware. Now, Google also um, highlights that this change will, will basically um, better admins to enforce two-step verification policies in their organizations. But although that is the case, it's also going to be a welcome move for your average home user or your personal Google account user like I am. And I know a lot of you obviously are using uh, Google accounts and services, so just putting it out there in case you were unaware. Now, according to this announcement, um, you can now choose from three options for setting up a two-step verification. The first is you can use an Authenticator app like Google Authenticator or Microsoft Authenticator, just to mention um, one or two examples. The next step, um, the next option is you can use a hardware security key uh, to protect your Google account. And also Google has also said from that announcement that the keys will be registered as FIDO1 credential, even if, they, even if the key is FIDO2 um, capable. And then the third option is you can create a pass key uh, for your Google account, and this will register as a FIDO2 credential, and a pass key obviously requires you to input your um, keys pin for um, local veri verification on your local device. So um, you no longer are required to use um, a phone number to enable two-step verification, which I think is a nice move, um, especially if you are maybe signing in and out of accounts on a regular basis. I think that is a good idea. Now, just on a side note, Google has said that when a user who had two-step verification enabled for the account disables the setting, other enrolled second steps such as backup codes, Google Authenticator, or second fact or a second factor phone will not be removed automatically from the account anymore. So I also think that's a nice move. And this will um, obviously be helpful in preventing users from being locked out of their accounts, especially as you may well know, when you switch to a new device, this two-step verification can become a bit of a headache. So just putting it out there, as mentioned, um, you don't need a, a phone number now. If you are tied into the Google ecosystem and you um, are setting up two-step verification, um, you can do so now without adding a phone number. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.